Our coronavirus coverage continues this morning. And right now, with everyone practicing self-quarantine at home, there are ways you can help adoptable pets during this pandemic. So joining us on the phone now to talk about this, Dr. Christian Broadhurst with the Clay Humane Society. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. So what a better time to either foster or adopt an animal. Absolutely. I mean, you're at home through, you know, with, with lots of time on your hands. And with the weather this week being as crummy as it is, fostering a pet would be just a wonderful use of your time and wonderful for the pet itself. Explain to me what goes into fostering. How does that process work? So fostering is usually the process of taking an animal out of the shelter, but not necessarily adopting it yourself. Fostering gets animals out, gets them exposure to your friends, but more importantly, also gets them exposed to life in a home and training and getting used to human attention. A lot of animals at the shelter have been sorely missing a lot of that. And, you know, if you say fall in love with that animal, are you able to adopt it? We call that a foster failure, and yes, that happens quite frequently. Lots of people will foster an animal and go, you know what, this is just the right fit for my family, and at which point you formalize that adoption, and that pet is now yours. That does not sound like a bad problem to have whatsoever. So <laughs> let's talk a little bit um, about the fostering process during a pandemic. How does that work? Um, a lot of it is going to depend on which agency you go with. You know, there are shelters all over the community, and some of them um, – will have different criteria for fostering an animal. The best I can recommend for you is just to call all the local shelters and say, what does your fostering program look like right now? I know some shelters are doing, you know, curbside. You look online, you find a pet, you go uh, pick it up curbside. Others may be, you may be able to meet the pet first. It all depends on the agency you're going through. Do you guys have animals right now at Clay Humane Society up for either adoption or foster? At Clay Humane, we actually do not. Um, we've been we've been busy with our our clinic and our emergency services, but we had we do not have any animals for adoption at this point in time. That's a, that's a great thing to hear. But we know Jacksonville Humane Society definitely does. And when it comes to, I do want to ask you um, while I have you on the phone. You know, a lot of people who do have their pets at home and maybe have regular checkups coming up, immunizations. What is your recommendation for that? Well, it, uh, again, it's all about um, it's all about your risk um, versus the benefit to the the animal. If you have an emergency situation, absolutely call us. We will be sure to get you in. If you are elderly or immunocompromised and your animal is just due for a wellness exam, that might be something that can easily wait um, until a lot of these quarantines are lifted and a lot of the uh, the coronavirus has has settled a bit. You know, is there anything that you're kind of seeing as a trend happening right now as the pandemic is happening when it comes to pets or animals? We are seeing we are definitely seeing some of our annual exams drop off, um, and that's understandable. Um, we are seeing a steady supply of emergencies and sick patients because, well, those emergencies and illnesses don't really care about pandemics. They continue to happen. Um, and we are still seeing a decent number of emergency surgery cases come in. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's been different, but, um, but in, a, in a good way, in a way that we're able to keep providing services to our clientele. That's amazing. And, again, who doesn't want to be locked up with an animal? And you get a Fantastic idea. You can foster or you can adopt. Dr. Christian Broadhurst, thank you so much.